Hello, it's Dr. Armand again, bringing you another exciting lecture for the General Chemistry One Laboratories. Today, I'll just be giving you an overview of how to access and start the virtual labs that you'll be working on, starting with Lab Two Density. So this is just a brief video over how to access it, kind of navigate around. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you go to your Blackboard course. You're going to click on the Hayden McNeil Virtual Lab link. This is going to direct you to the Hayden McNeil page where you'll complete your virtual lab assignments. So when you click on this link, if you haven't done so, you'll need to sign in. And then you'll see a page that looks similar to this. So this is lab one, uh, density, a characteristic property. So you have the lab experiment here, which is the blue book. And then after you complete the experiment uh, with your observations and measurements, then you're going to go down here and complete the lab questions for this virtual lab. So again, this is done after you can complete the virtual lab. Because you're going to need your observations and measurements. So again, you don't do the questions until you've done the actual lab. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this link here where it says density characteristic property. But just like this, you see the finger, you click on it, it's going to direct you to the actual experiment information. And this is where you can read about the background information on your lab. So if you scroll down, you see it gives you a little bit of background about what this lab is about. It's about density, measuring mass, measuring volume, And then at the bottom, you can go to the next page. And the next page can, contains the actual procedure. So it says experiment one, it explains taking a balance from the instrument shell, place it on the workbench, take a 50 mil graduated cylinder. So the, this is the procedure. And what you're going to do is you're going to click here to open up the virtual lab. You click on this blue square, it's going to open up the virtual lab platform for you to start doing these experiments. So let's click on it. It's going to open up a new page. And we click on Start Lab. And you got to make sure to click the correct item. So we need all these items for. Uh, to start work, we need the goggles, lab coat, and gloves. We enter lab. We enter the lab. And this is where you're going to perform your virtual lab. And so what you'll need to do is you can go back and forth. So here's the lab bench, the virtual lab bench. You can go back to your procedure, read the procedure. So it says take the balance from the shelf, take a 50 mil graduated cylinder. Add 10 mils of water from the material shelf to the graduated cylinder. So we'll click back to that. And all you do is you click on the instrument, you bring it, you drag it. There's the balance. Next, for example, we'll take this uh, ethanol. We want to, let's say we want to measure the density of ethanol. So as you're reading the procedure, you just click on glassware, you can click drag it and drop we need a beaker so we click drag and drop and as you're reading the procedure it'll tell you what you need so this is water ethanol iron aluminum metal number one 
and unknown liquid. If there's more things on the shelf, then these arrows here will be visible and you can click through and see what else is on the uh, shelf. So let's say just for example, for illustration purposes, we want to measure the density of this ethanol. So what you do is you drag the material or the chemical, we're gonna measure it out of the graduated cylinder. And so we'll put the amount we want in it. So let's say we want 35 milliliters. We type in 35, we click add. So it's gonna add 35 milliliters of ethanol to the graduated cylinder. So we know our volume is going to be 35. So we got volume of ethanol, excuse me, 35 milliliters. Now, if you double click on the graduated cylinder, you can get a zoom in of it. So you see the meniscus is right at 35.0 milliliters. The smallest increment is one milliliter, so that means the estimated digit is in the tenths place. So again, what you do is if you click, double click on the graduated cylinder, it brings up a zoomed in image or what's called the meniscus view. Now what we're going to do is, I'm going to take my beaker, I've recorded, so you see when you put the beaker on the a balance, you see it has the mass of the beaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the zero button, and it zeroes out the mass of the beaker. Now we remove the beaker, we take our graduated cylinder, we drag it to the beaker, and now we're going to say, so you can enter a certain amount, or you can just say pour all, and it pours all of it into the beaker. So you see the graduated cylinder is decreasing in volume. The beaker is increasing in volume. All right, so now the graduated cylinder is empty. We take the beaker, put it back on the balance because we've already zeroed out the beaker, the beaker's mass. So what we're getting is just the mass of the ethanol. So now when we put it on there, we see that the mass of ethanol is uh, what is that? 27 grams. So now we know the mass of ethanol, the volume of ethanol, we can calculate the density of ethanol. So this is just a kind of an example. It's not what you're actually doing. It's just an example of how to navigate around it. And so we get the density is 0 0.789. It should be three significant figures. That'd be gram per milliliter. And so again, this exercise was just to show you how to navigate through it. Now when you're finished, you click on the beaker, you drag it to the waist, it's going to empty the waste out of the beaker. Then you can click and drag and put the dirty glassware in the sink because it won't let you use the glassware again once you've used it once. And then you just go back and forth. So now we go, now we go back to our procedure. We'll see what's next. So you see everything is listed. And you go back to your lab bench, perform the experiment. Make sure that you record, again, your observations. Observations and measurements on, on, a, piece of, on a piece of paper. because you're gonna need these in order to do the questions. So make sure as you're going through the experiment, you record your observations, any kind of measurements, did you measure this mass, this volume, make sure you record everything. Now, once you're completely finished with the uh, procedure, oops, excuse me. 
So once you're completely finished, you can exit out of this the lab bench and we can go back to the main Moodle page by clicking on your section here. So it takes you back to the page. And you scroll down and now you're able to begin the questions. And then you'll go through, you'll start your, your quiz. And you get one attempt to answer the questions. There's like 30 questions on it. So you would click start quiz and you would start answering the questions and at the end you would finish attempt. So this is how you would go through and answer the questions after you completed the virtual lab because it wants you to record the, you know, enter the stuff that you measured throughout the experiment. And that's how you complete the uh, virtual lab questions. There are 30 questions for this one. And so again, just wanted you to show you a brief video on how to navigate the uh, virtual lab platform. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, that's all for this video lecture. If you like the lecture or learn something new, make sure to hit the like button at the bottom. And until next time, Dr. Armand signing off.